There are a ton of different ways to play Rocket League, but one of the best ways that I feel is incredibly underrated is the in-your-face playstyle. Basically, this means we want to be annoying our opponents as much as possible. Regardless of what they are trying to do, we want to make sure that they absolutely cannot do what they want on the field. Doing this pretty much shuts down all of your opponent's options and really helps to open up the field for yourself and your teammate. Whether this means going for bumps, demos, and boost deals, whether it means just simply denying space from your opponent, or whether it means putting yourself in the perfect spot to cut off the play your opponent is going for. Basically, we want to be everywhere our opponent doesn't want us to be. So we're going to go ahead and hop into some ranked games today, and we are going to be really focusing on just being as annoying as possible to our opponents, and we'll see how it works out for us. Off we go, game number one, being as annoying as possible. Let's see how we get along here. Just want to be in their face and not let them do what they want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get a touch here. Bump this guy off. Get another challenge there. It's going to roll up the wall. Teammates on that one. We'll take a couple pads back. Chill in net and see what's happening. Pop out. We're going to get beat to that, so we'll play patient. Go ahead and challenge that one so they can't do anything with it. Teammate here. Good save. I missed the ball, but I threw them off enough. We can go ahead and grab this boost and be in a position to play off our teammate. Bang that downfield, make it awkward. Steal their boost, let teammate come through. There he goes. Be ready for this clear. It's a weak touch. I got it off of him. Bang towards the net, almost getting back in front of it. Teammate gets beat out. I'm going to try to get back, but not going to work out. Unfortunate. Go ahead and pop this around. We're going to lose that mid boost and we'll take the corner. Go ahead and get a touch. We can go ahead and dribble this out. Pop mid. Maybe a shooting opportunity. I got myself all turned around. That is not good from us. Teammate should be back though. Very well done. We can secure this boost. Go mid then. Make sure we get up close and we can apply the pressure here. And just rush the ball, recognize the defense is moving slowly. Don't give them that time to just do whatever they want with the ball. We crash on in, and we make it work. Good stuff right there. Two minutes in, we're all tied up. Steal their boost here. Bump one. Backboard. Steal their other boost. Yoink. Gonna rotate back here. We can turn on this one. Catch. Pop around. 51. Force him to go. Teammate's right here. See what he does with it. I'm low boost. Gotta look for some pads. Back out to me. Pop far post. Nice. Great pass, teammate. Just making sure that we're not running out of the play as well. We can apply more pressure to our opponents if we don't just leave to go get boost. So just rotating pads there allows us to stay in the play. Teammate hits us with a great pass. And we capitalize on it. Fantastic. So applying pressure to the opponents is not all about going for bumps and demos. That might just be in the net. What a save. Gonna take time with this one. Flick high. Steal their boost. Teammate. We're gonna score it. Nicely done. A little bit awkward, but again, just recognizing that space. Make the defense think. And it works out. Defense full panic station, and we're there just to apply a little bit more pressure as well. Get the block, make sure I stay in front of it. I can get this boost. Go backboard, jump out. Apply this pressure. Get the dunk. See if I can get back in front of this. Not quite, I'm just going to steal the boost then. Push him off. Pop high. Little off target, but that's fine. We're going to rotate pads here. He's going to have that. We just got to wait, see what they do. Forced him wide. Perfect. Recover well off of that. We'll be forward for our teammate. He's going to take this solo. That's fine. I'm just going to wait then. I don't want to get too close. We'll go ahead and beat this guy out. Wait for the bounce. It's going to sit under him. Don't mess up. Get a touch. Teammate cuts. We can get the boost. Catch this ball. We can go ahead and get this boost. Have control here. Around one. Demo one. Demo two. 
That's open, well done. <laughs> Just applying the pressure, don't need to do anything crazy. We love to see it. This has been smooth sailing. Just looking for the opportunities as they present themselves. And we just remove both players on the defense from the field. And lo and behold, that leaves us a wide open net. Looks like one has fully given up at this point. At this point, looks like we're kind of done with this one. So we'll just let this clock run out. And we'll see you in the next one where we will continue this fantastic idea. Because so far, it has worked wonderfully. Game number two. Let's keep that momentum up from the first game. Love what we did in that one. Let's see if we can repeat here in this one. Died in the middle. Teammates on the ball. Just going to pick up a couple pads. Couldn't quite get the bump there. Bump him off. Make sure you can't get back to it. That's a good play. Teammate comes forward. We'll be across for him. Nicely done, teammate. We're in a spot to support him, just applying the pressure on that opposite side. We did a really good job tracking back, though, on the defense there to not just leave the ball and give up a 1v1 against our teammate. So love that play that we made there. Teammate can go for that one. I'll go ahead and snag this mid boost. That might just be a goal. It is. Gonna rush this. Force it wide. That's fine. We can pick up a couple pads. Look for any more here in the mid. We're good now, can force our way forward. Teammate's still on that, we'll just wait. Try to get back here, teammate can go first, I'll be behind him. Actually take the time to go get this mid boost. Shouldn't have gone to get the corner, that's my bad. Thought my teammate was gonna have a touch. More so than just rolling the ball up, but yeah, he was getting chased, so not my best. I needed to go for the corner, and that's why you don't run away from the play to go get boost. That's... Pretty much it to a T <laughs> as to why you don't do that. I lost that boost. That's a darn shame. Teammates on that ball. Trying to get back. At least apply the pressure. Good beat, teammate. Play to the side. Get the boost. Teammates in an awkward spot. He does well. Get a touch around. Force again. Teammates there. Another nice save. I'm going to wait mid, see what he does. Teammate's got. Good clear. He goes again. Nice. That's going to get turned on. That's fine. Can catch up the wall and then go backboard. It's fine. It's plenty wide. Wait back. Teammate will be mid for you if you want it. Wanted to play that up the wall, but it worked. Got the block. See if I can secure this boost. I can. Apply pressure from behind. Be back in net now. Good clear. Oh, I wanted to rip that. All good, though. We'll wait in the midfield. Teammate's got the flip. Good try. This should be fine. Got the clear out. Make sure we got that pinch. Apply the pressure now. Good block from them, but it's going right to my teammate. It's fine. He should stay on. Also fine. Watch the pass here. Cut that around. Up into the air. Just gonna stay with this. Pop high. Take their boost. Teammates in a position to be fine here. Took the back boost. This is gonna be free ball. Around one. Pop out. Kill one. Free ball. Gotten my teammates way a little bit. 20 boost, just gonna sit on the ground here. I could have scored that. That was kind of terrible on my part. Not gonna turn for this one, not worth it. Can easily get the save here, not a problem. Only four boost in net, gotta be careful. Off, we're totally fine. No boost here, now there is, I'll pick that up. Push forward to apply pressure. Free ball. Pop high. Straight down. Not straight down. Dang. Bump him off. Get back here. Good save, teammate. We're low boost in net. Teammate's going to work, though. 51. Boost is here. Teammate should be fine. We're full boost behind him, though, if he needs us. Nice. Well done, teammate. Good workout. Not going to dive. Not worth it. He wants the flick. Or some wide. Bang this out. Or some up. 
Can we backboard and teammate gets the clear? Dang, that's unfortunate. It's not going to be all that great. We can catch this. Have boost and ball. He is already up, and then I missed the ball, but that works, actually. Oh, what a double. It's going to keep this in around the corner. Apply the pressure, bump one off. Just going to back off here. Don't want to do anything too crazy. We'll win this ball. Teammate. Oh, okay. Overtime it is. Teammates first. Nice. Take a couple pads. Teammate can go for this one. Nice. Stay on. Watch the bump. Yep. Pop this out. He's going to go up the wall. That's fine. Teammates here. I'll secure the boost. Be in for him if he needs me. <laughs> Steal the goal. Why not? We take it. We make it work. Not as keen on our aggressiveness in that second game for sure. Definitely had some awkward moments towards the end, especially. Had the two goal lead early and then things kind of fell apart a little bit. But that kind of gives a pretty solid idea of just how effective being aggressive towards your opponents can be. Normally when players hear the idea of an aggressive playstyle, their brain automatically thinks it means bumps and demos pretty much only. But realistically, an aggressive playstyle is all about getting in your opponent's face and making sure they're not allowed to do what they want to do on the field. If you can maintain that upper hand in that you can do what you want to do on the field and you're shutting down everything your opponents want to do, you give yourself a great chance to win that game. So as you're playing your own games, make sure you're looking around the field for opportunities to make your opponent's lives more difficult. I do hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you click that subscribe button right down below so you make sure you don't miss any future Rocket League content. Additionally, if you'd like to be more involved in this community, please consider joining my Discord link down in the description. So thank you everybody so much for watching, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later guys.